Hello, welcome to lesson 46, Named and Optional Parameters in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is named parameter and optional parameter. Right now, we will jump into the slide where it is explained clearly. Named and optional parameters are really two distinct features in C-Sharp. What do they do for us? They allow us to either omit parameters which have defined a default value and or and to pass parameters by name rather than the position. To understand this sentence very clearly, right now we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll start coding. And also we'll look into what is named and optional parameter explicitly. Here I'm having a program. It's a console template already ready. What do, what do I do in this program is I'll just uh, create a method uh, called currency public and it takes it return type is double and the method name is currency what do this method do is this method will take parameters of uh, double itself double um, variable name is amount and another variable another uh, variable called rate and its return type is also double now what do this method should return it should return amount into rate that is product of amount and rate okay now what do I do how do I call this method in the main method it's very simple I have to come here I have to call this method name sorry okay I have to make my method static first once it is done what is my next job I have to call this method currency and I have to pass parameters it takes two parameters of uh, return type double one is amount I will pass it as 500 and the rate uh, I will pass it as 1.18 and this is ready now to make it simple I will assign this method to some variable defined okay it's easy to call that method in the console dot write line just I will call s now now when I run this program it should obviously print the product of uh, rate second it's having some errors or oh, it built it properly okay fine press 590 okay this is what expected now when I run this program I got the output as 590 it means that this method just printed the product of amount and rate now jumping back into the presentation now we'll see what is name parameter and optional parameters right now we'll understand what is optional parameters optional parameters allow us to omit the arguments in the sense parameters to members without having to define a specific overloading match it means that now what I'll do is now we'll see a demo of uh, optional parameters how do I do that now instead optional parameters in the sense I'm having two parameters here one is amount and another one is rate now in the calling method I can pass any one of them how do I do that it's very simple before you have to initialize a value to any one of them for example I'm initializing a value to rate here I'll initialize it to one now when I initialize it to 1 then here in the calling method there is no necessity of uh, again passing value to the uh, parameter rate now when I build this program it builds successfully and now when I run this program you can observe it successfully prints the product of both amount and uh, amount and rate it means that if you are going with the optional parameters the thing is you have to initialize the value of the parameter in the method itself and in the calling ma and in the calling method there is no necessity of passing the parameter again this is what the optional parameter it means we are passing the parameter in the optional way whichever parameter you are already defined in the main method that parameter there is no necessity of calling again in the main in the calling method that's what about the optional parameter and right now we'll jump into the presentation and named parameters are passed by name instead of relaying on its position in the parameter list now what do I do now we'll come back here I'll just erase these parts and I'll pass values like uh, 1.18 now this method should uh, work fine why because this, this currency method is taking two parameters one is amount and the rate and in the calling method I'm passing the values in the same order in the sense for the final is for the amount and the rate is for rate 1.18 is for the rate now if I interchange the values what should happen okay that's not uh, for the rate what I'll do is for the amount I'll take it as integer type okay now if it is an integer type now what do I do is um, 
since in the normal calling method what we'll do is we'll pass the values in this order only that is first amount we'll pass then the rate for example I'll pass 500 and the rate is 1.18 sorry uh, and the rate is 1.18 and now, now when I run this program obviously it has to provide the output on the console screen as expected but uh, if I pass the value in this order like first I'll pass the rate then then I'll pass the amount is this program go going to work now now when I run this program it, it is having some errors telling that it printed but it is having errors telling that cannot convert double to int this is this first parameter is taking a taking a value of integer type but here I'm passing a value of double so it's throwing us error now if I want to pass this pass in this order means if, if I pass if I want to pass first rate then amount uh, then we have to go with the name parameters in the sense coming back to slide name parameters are passed by name instead of relaying on its position in the parameter list that's what I explained here instead now now the user wants wants to pass first the rate then the amount uh, now that can be done using the name parameters how do I do that it's very simple just to type rate then colon then pass the rate like 1.18 now next is amount okay amount it takes uh, 500 now when I run this program obviously it has to build properly and it has to provide the output on the console screen as expected now you can observe previously when we passed the values in this order it did not take because the return type of the first value is integer but we pass the rate there now here explicitly we are passing the rate uh, by making use of op, uh, name parameters this is what the advantage of name parameters as we saw in this program okay and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankh Pro training below